Hey guys, this is Neha and this is Millie and we're going to be taking you a lot of different hiking places, uh, you know, just showing you the nature around Bay Area and I want to just quickly introduce myself. I live in Bay Area with my family, with my husband, uh, my teenage son and my very very cute puggy. Almost every weekend we try to cover a new hike so I thought why not document that. <laughs> Let's go to a spectacular hilly area called Windy Hills Open Space Preserve. I promise it is going to be fun. How can it not be with a little pug by your side? Unrelated to this hike, but if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and to subscribe for more such videos. Alright, intro done. Story begins. Here is Millie leading the way. She gets so excited the moment we say, car time. She knows it's time for a hike. It's sunny today. As is usual in Bay Area in summer, it is rather unpredictable on how hot it's about to get. We think it'll be tolerable, but we'll see. Okay, so we have reached the Windy Hill open space located in the Portola Valley. Parking was somewhat limited, but we got lucky and found a good spot. Maybe due to the COVID situation going on, there were limited hikers, and when we did encounter any, we maintained a very safe distance and mouth coverings. Dogs are allowed on leash, so Millie's about to take charge and lead us to these green hills. The trail is easy to begin with and Millie has a great time sniffling all sorts of new dust, plants and of course animal poop. Very quickly we spot the trail markers and begin our hike. Windy Hill is supposed to be a breezy grass covered hilltop and I had every expectation of seeing a lot of vegetation. The 1335 acre preserve features open grassland ridges and forests of redwood, fir and oak, according to the park's website. As we walk on the trail, we are surrounded by shrubs and vegetation. A gentle climb takes us through a path with attractive oak woods. The park opens half an hour before sunrise and closes about half an hour after sunset. Bicycles are also allowed, but for someone as non-athletic as me, that would be useless as the paths go uphill enough that I couldn't have biked. Need to work on my quad strength and whatnot. Sorry, I digress. Even on a hot day, getting pulled by a hyperactive dog, I can appreciate how stunning the forest around me is. The woods keep drawing my attention and there are a few very impressive Douglas fir trees if you walk the right trails. Spring brings wildflowers on a few trails here. Where there are flowers, I go, so I plan to revisit this trail in spring as well. For now, I enjoy the near autumnal colors of these fire red leaves. However, very quickly the climb starts getting harder. The difference in elevation between its highest and lowest points is about 400 meters, that's about 1300 feet. To add to that, it gets warmer. I think that is also because the trail we took has almost no shade and unless you go out on a cloudy or cold day, you're bound to feel the burn of the sun. Remember, today is a summery day, but if you were to visit this in fall or winter, trails could get muddy and pretty windy, so do keep that in mind. This park is a local favorite and for very good reasons. There are several different trails that take you through more than 12 miles if you're up for it. You want to see water? Saucer Pond Loops got it. You want great views of the Bay Area? The Anniversary Trail provides a hike to the top of Windy Hill with views of the Bay and surrounding valley. There are several trails to pick from and with mile markers clearly shown you can decide what you want to do. Easy or long, I promise you, you will not be disappointed with any path. We walk around two miles. We would have gone for a longer one, but it got hot and increasingly uncomfortable to walk. Not to mention, my little Millie gets hot more easily, what with all that bug double coat. We finish with lots of water for the pup and roll back home. The views are so impressive even as we head back. Someone clearly misses their comfy sofa. Hope you enjoy this walk. Signing off from this trip. If you want more, do subscribe and let me know in comments what you would like to know more about these trips. Waiting for the next weekend. Bye.